Hello guys and welcome to a new video here on my channel and in this video I will make a little tutorials for beginners for ZipLalu. In today's video I will first show you how to zap and what you actually can get with zaps in a base and after that we will look at three different base styles diamond box and ring and how I like to take them down. I will always show the normal approach on a base or what I look for. If you don't want to miss something on this channel, I would really appreciate if you like and subscribe if this video will help you. And I also will do a little giveaway to you guys for the crazy support under the last few videos. There will be two gold passes that I will give to you guys. And all you need to do is just write your Discord hashtag in the commentary and like and subscribe of course. And now have fun with the video. And as first we will discuss the lightning. The saps have a new huge impact on your attacks if you fail them or not. And for that we go in a friendly channel in which I will show how far a lightning can zap. A zap can lightning like three tiles, like all what's in between three tiles. If two buildings are split four buildings, it's not possible to zap them. But three are possible. I will show this here, like you see, these here are two and they're easily sappable, right? But if I try to sap like this mortar and this cannon, there's like, uh, I cannot, it's too far away. So always look on this and do not fail your saps in the future. But now what I wanted to say you, what helped me a lot is if I sap like a three core, three tile gap, I always try to use the middle one. Like always look at the, at the tiles, take the middle one and always go in the middle. With the practice, you automatically get better in it and yeah. And the first base is a diamond base. And what I like, what I really like to do in a diamond base is go for this multi or maybe it's a scatter right here with my flame flinger. And as you can see, here are heroes, a mortar, an expo, which can really hurt your flame flinger, which means you have to go for an angle like, like here. But this expo is in the way. But luckily we have saps, so I always like to sap out this expo, which is down here. Tank the mortar and you can see my flame flame can get huge value. A multi, a ricochet cannon and who knows what more. And a little tip, always set, send in your flame flinger first. You can save so much time with this. As you can see, speed up a little bit. I've placed my flame flinger first, of course, with a goblin and sap afterwards. And now what you can do is just relax. You can like 20, 30 seconds, like just wait. And of course, thank the mortar. Um, which I did, so my flame flinger can survive longer. But yeah, as you can see, at the moment I'm just waiting. I don't know, sometimes a little bit longer, maybe a little bit less, but always give your flame flinger some time to get some buildings out. And yeah, and now, as you can see, I start with the Sui. I really like to go like for the town hall. If the town hall is more in the middle, just like go with the king and the queen for the town hall, which uh, wasn't my goal in this attack. But sadly, my king went to the town hall as well, but not that big of a deal. But yeah, always get the town hall with your heroes. And after you see you have a clear pathing. This flame flinger get this multi and you can after Lalo through here right there. 
you have a clean line. That is what you want with a with Lalo, an I or an L shave. Um, so yeah, you see, I can forward a little bit. Get out the town hall with Masui. And still, I'm still waiting because of my flame flinger to get this multi. Um, this air defense hurted me for my lava hunt, so I took it out with a lava hunt. And now you see the Lalo. It's always the same. Send it through the middle and some loons on every key target. Three to four loons always. Um, and yeah, and after that, it's like just a Lalo, and which I think is pretty easy. But you see, always in the Warden ability, try to get your Hound and two Headhunters. In my case, I have no more Headhunter because the heroes are all on this side. But yeah, and you see, you still have a Haste. Freeze the multi and go in for the scatter. But you can see it's a really good. Like many loons survived. So yeah, but always try to like remember the plan. Maybe you have to have to go a little bit other than me if the town hall is more in the inside or if here is a scatter instead of a multi but that is what i like to do of course it's not doable on every base sometimes you have to adjust a little bit um, but yeah if you can do this go for that plan and the next base is a box base we probably all know this base it is really annoying it was previously for the event troops anti-event troop but a lot of people are still running it. But yeah, in this place, on box space, I always try to get one of the scatters with my flame flinger. Of course, it is not always possible, but if it is, I always try to go for it. Uh, you see, I send in my flame flinger again on the top uh, because here on this side, is just no threat to it, except of this um, mortar but you see, you can easily tank it. The next thing is, of course, what you sap again. Here in this place, you really can sap for the Lalo. You don't have any expo against the flame flinger. And yeah, but the only value in this space that you really can sap is go for this multi, this expo and this poison tower. <clears throat> and again, how I look, how I get it, I look the the, the buildings that are, that are the farthest away, count them, one, two, three, you see, three, take the middle one, which is this, ro this row he here, and go in the middle, like here, to get everything. So that we have that cleared real quick, tank the mortar again, and... If I do this approach, I really like to go for the town hall with my heroes. Sometimes you get the town hall only with your queen, but two expos are just too heavy for the queen and the ice golem wouldn't have survived long enough to tank for it. So just send in your, your king as well, pop it right here, get good value. And yeah, I tried to funnel these buildings so my queen walked to this multi here. Um, I don't quite remember if I really got it, but I think I did. Yes, I did. Um, and again, you see the flame flinger doing a great job getting this scatter out of the way. And now the log starts. I really like to go in for from this flank because here's the queen that you can get out. Um, you can haste here in the scatter, rage above the multi, and the base is basically gone. As you can see, again, some parts of loon, 
go in the royal champion just below the lalo and do the classic lalo approach again sending in a lava hound in the warden ability as headhunters you see here right here and you see i haste here first and rage after and i really like to haste first and rage after but sometimes i rage first and haste after the difference is just if like a heavy heavy spec core is coming like i rage on which part they really need to do damage and get through quickly and i haste there where like not that many threats are um but yeah do the th same thing again then you see you have two freezes for this multi right here the royal champion is still alive the yetis will get the, the royal champion on top ziggy will stun it and skeletons for the monolith the expo teslas and stuff you don't really need it and you can see these loons will three star this base I will put in it here on four times and again on every base you need to adjust a little bit it's not always the same thing um, but this approach I really like and I hope you can use it as well coming to the ring base the last base for today and ring bases are probably the hardest one um, because I had a lot of troubles as I began to play Zap Lalo. But basically it's really easy. All you wanna do is go for value with the Zaps, of course. Um, you always will get good value with the Zaps in ring bases because it's just all stacked in the core. And yeah, but what you wanna do afterwards is always try to go for some value with your heroes as well. As you can see in my base, on this base here, uh, I set these four buildings and go after for these two. You see, and already the half of the damage, I would say, in the core is gone. And after you just have to lolo through the eagle and the multi, uh, the single, I'm sorry, and just send a blimp for the town hall. And good is that. But sometimes it's hard to recognize on some bases. Um, but yeah. It's always this, this general plan that you want to follow. Maybe you don't get as good as value as I did, but you always will get something. And you see, it's up here, funnel a little bit. And a good tip, what I recommend to you is just watch gameplay of Zeplalo which means if you just watch Star's YouTube video every day, it will always improve you a little bit. Of course, it's not the best because he doesn't speak, but trust me, you will learn it someday. You see, a funnel here and really good. You see this wall break failed, which won't give me the scatter now. So I have to come up with a little backup plan send it in the royal champion from the top I'll put it one time again and you see my lalo starts already and now at this moment already the half of the base is gone like all the damage that can hurt hurt my lalo is gone only the town hall and the scatter me for the town hall you have to blimp so don't worry about that and you see perfect Haste in the warden ability and again rage and you see here my rage it covers the scatter it covers the eagle and the town hall always send your your spells so that it covers everything if you just send it on the town hall of course you get the town hall and maybe it won't make a difference but maybe you are unlucky and it does make a difference and that's why you not you just get 99 or something so always try to optimize your spell placements and yeah 
And trust me, if you're stuck at the moment, don't worry, just keep trying. Just keep pushing one or two months with the same army in Legends. And trust me, you will make the biggest, the biggest step you will see. You see, this base is wrecked. Um, so yeah, easy day. But yeah, that was it with that video. Hope you enjoyed. Um, if you did, I would really be happy about the like. Maybe even you subscribe would be cool. And thank you for watching. And have a good day.